as an African boy, you have big responsibility, you have an obligation to change where you come from, you know? We a man has to pull that, that's a cat, and pull cat. You have to pull that uh, yeah. to feed a family, to feed a society. Wow. I miss this place. I miss this food. Hey, how are you? Welcome to this channel. My name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. You know, as an African boy, you have a very big responsibility. This society, where you come from, has a lot of expectations on you. And that's why anytime you ever see an African in the city, we are always committed to work. We are always uh, concerned about where we come from. That's why you always find Anytime I have free time, I have to go to the village and check on the uh, villagers, how they are, they are faring, you know? And it will be very sad if you came to the city and you never made it. You never achieved what other men out there are achieving. And that has taught us how to be defensive, how to be, yeah? caring about what's happening around us, you know? And uh, I think this is what led me to uh, loving Africa this much. This the reason as to why you always see me talking positive about Africa, showcasing Africa to the world. So you ever ask yourself, where go see Africa came from? Apart from watching African Tigress content, called that's the only person I know we produce similar content. And the other person who, who, who came on board to do what I do is the Black Geo, which, which is a forum, a group. I'm one of the founding uh, members of Black Geo. And uh, please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can go ahead and subscribe. So we are in a beautiful land, some back streets in Nairobi. So I like city in some beautiful places like this one so these are a railway line show them the railway line uh, these are railway line and um, I, I really felt I needed to come back to this place it's a place I used to to film my first vlogs from I had I had friendship with some guys from this road so we could come at this point and uh, do some interviews and I thought why not I need to be here because this is the place which made me, yeah, as a creator, apart from the village, you know. And uh, I can see some men seated on the background. I really don't understand whether do they still have the same obligation I have. Do they that their society still expect them to change? where they come from just like myself <laughs> but they, you wonder why always when we get to the village there is always a celebration people are celebrating they be like go see africa is around and whenever making out i'm making uh, making it uh, out here the society the villagers are celebrating more than i do that's the reason you need to subscribe to my channel. Whenever you support me, you're not supporting just me. You're supporting a whole society. Yeah, I have a dream. I need to grow and support the society. I need to uh, sponsor some less fortunate kids in the society. I have to feed some less fortunate people in the society. I have to school them. Apart from myself, you last. Have you made a life for yourself, for you to care about a large society, a large society, whether I made it or not? Whether I made it or not, the society expects me to perform. They expect me to make it. So I have no choice. <laughs> Whenever you see me filming out here, please be supportive. Tell me, I, I like what you do. That motivates a man, it motivates an African. And uh, 
you know it feels good especially me being a creator you subscribe to my channel and are you sharing my link you know how is how the guys out here facing some big people some facing some big men you know yeah this is african man driving big vehicles here we have an african man sit here. bro come and sit here where do you come from where do you come from what are so this guy is born in this in the city. I don't know whether he has the same obligations uh, as I have. Where do you Palinatoka? Where I come from? I have obligations um, to take care of the society. Whenever I go to that society, people celebrate. Then if you go to what do I celebrate when I do a mutuya mefika? What if you go to the Mukuru? Mukuru Kwanjenga? Oh, what do you the side in a, in a celebrity go in corner. I'm scared of Jama. Leo Meleta Chakula. Wanna fry here? Yeah. Yeah, hey, you know. Uh, this guy um, living in the streets, and uh, you can tell as well. He has confirmed that whenever he come to where he stays at with some food, guys celebrate. You know. I don't know whether my cameraman. I had the same responsibility like mine. <laughs> you know, yeah, it feels good being an African, bro. Wow. Wow. Then I'm liking how this place, everyone is caring about themselves. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, everyone here is minding their own business. No one minds whether I'm filming them or not. No one wants to interact with me. Wow. Why is Umboa? Why is Umboa? This side. Do not film Kwanza. You can need no one to go to Chini. Everybody's asking for food, but I always feed them whenever I find them as they are big there. You have seen me in many occasions uh, purchasing samosas and all that for them to celebrate with me. I was once beaten by them trying to, uh, to interact with these guys. So I was coming to interact with this guy filming and some bad guy really beat me up. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. I need to rise up. I will be interacting with more people. I really want to know what the society expects of them. Do they have an obligation to protect their society? And that's why I've seen someone from Europe saying, oh, I'm going back to Africa. I need to marry an African man because the issue of sharing 50-50, I can't do that. You know, as an African, we are, we are taught that when you have a woman, when you have a woman, it's your, it's, your, it's your responsibility. Yeah, it's your responsibility to take care of her. It's your responsibility to take care of the family, to feed them, clothe them, do everything. But in some advanced countries, in the advanced societies, the Western world, there is this tendency of 50 50. You pay the house. I feed the family. But how will you tell a woman, please, I need my my clothes washed and ironed when you really don't perform the role of a man? I'm not trying to incite men against women, but in Africa, a man is always the head of the family. And uh, it's only in Africa whereby... <laughs> Should I continue? It's only in Africa where, 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 whereby the family values are still upheld. In some parts of this world, they no longer support um, marriage. 
they, they are not for this you know it just started raining so i need to rise up and need to leave this place oh i've seen some musicians there yeah wow i, I, I would wish to be a musician one day in my other world <laughs> i keep on subscribing by day i had to escape because of the rains now i'm no longer at the woods i'm in my house i want us to say something i wanted to discuss some issues we really need to because i've been agitating for women for a very long time you know whoever has been following me since the time i started this channel and uh, you can tell i have been inspired by a lady to start doing what i do so me being gossy africa i was inspired by african tigress and that shows you how i should be respecting women how i should respect ladies but how will you feel if you are not given baby girl treatment you know because we are living uh, in times whereby we are agitating for gender equity and equality which is a good thing I'm very happy in East Africa we have a female president and I will so much appreciate if in Kenya as well in some point we're going to get a, a female president I'll be the most happiest person ever because that shows will show that we have started appreciating democracy lately I can't say we have democracy in Kenya because the things which happen lately they're so disgusting it's only in Kenya whereby a person would go to protest, then they killed in the protest. That's the truth. Whether you like it or not, we haven't achieved democracy yet. We might be having a very good constitution, but the actions with our leaders, they are not the best. So ladies are competing for power. They want to be like men. They are not ready to share 50-50. Of course, in Africa, we don't support 50-50. Responsibilities. You want me to give you baby girl treatment? Yeah? Yet you want to take the position I've been occupying. I'm, I'm fighting for a political position. I love politics. <laughs> I'm fighting for a political position. You want to fight for the same position as well. Should men still uh, start acting and demanding for baby boy treatment? But then we need to have a discussion about this. I'm not supporting any gender. Um, I'm only being... Um, open-minded so i want us to be genuine let's talk about this meanwhile i wish to end the video at this point it was a good discussion from the start the goal was to uh, educate you about the african society what the african society expects towards men and uh something i was about to forget we still have societies who don't allow ladies taking leadership positions we still have societies which believe a lady is a is an inferior human being that is so bad in fact lately we are having ladies who are more responsible than men we have men who have indulged themselves into alcohol and drug use they are no longer responsible they no longer take care of themselves, not live alone the family and the extended family. They, no, they don't take care of themselves. You find a man staying for days without taking shower. That shows you how, how men have become careless. I still insist, I have no, I have nothing bad with men. But I just want us to be open-minded and have a discussion. So, leave a comment on the comment section my name is gossy africa allow me to end the video from this point i'm a traveler and a youtuber from kenya kindly share the link with your friends
Abagubani.